Hello and welcome to my finance teacher. Performance in Bitcoin over the last few weeks has uh, not been uh, very exciting. And uh, prior to that, we've seen a very nice run from around uh, six to eight thousand all the way to twenty thousand. That was amazing prior to the uh, launch of the Bitcoin futures. Of course, one would expect a correction from a run like that. The correction brought us all the way down to under 11,000. And since then, Bitcoin has been uh, sort of stuck in this trending, trading range, anywhere between 11,500 to the top of about 17,000. While Bitcoin has been doing that, it bounced up from the support of uh, this 50-day moving average several times and over the last week it broke down through that support level tried to regain this 50-day moving average but failed at the moment it is now bouncing down from the resistance level of this 50-day moving average and uh, that is not very promising well let's have a look at what has it been doing historically since this great run started sometime in April it's difficult to see the prices in the first half of 2017 unless we turn on the log scale so basically since this Bitcoin run started in about uh, April or so we've, uh, we've observed that it followed these cycles lasting for about two months or so and uh, if the duration of the cycle is to stay at about two months then we're going to see a final pull back down into this cycle low what it means is that this very scary correction from 20,000 all the way down to 11,000 in just about a week has not actually given us the end of this cycle. It might have been a little too short in about just over a month. If the duration of the cycle to continue at about a couple of months, then we might see Bitcoin pulling down again, especially given that this 50-day moving average became resistance instead of being a support a couple of weeks ago. So that, as I said, is not promising for the price. The price might continue downward momentum and until it um, reaches the next strong support line at 100-day moving average and that might finally give us the cycle low finishing in about two months since this cycle started in mid-November after the correction after the end of the previous cycle from about 8,000 all the way down to five and a half thousand an interesting thing is whether this cycle low is actually going to be lower than this week of this candle just under 11,000 ideally a cycle low will be lower than any point within the middle of this cycle however if we sort of ignore the wicks of these candles and go by the candles themselves then um, we might perfectly call this a cycle low whenever we reach it maybe in another week or so a couple of weeks probably in either case I expect continued weakness in uh, Bitcoin for a short while and after that a strong move up within a new cycle. An interesting question then would be whether this strong move up is going to break us through an all-time high or is it going to be a temporary bounce followed by some sort of correction again keeping us within this trading range, which is also a possibility because after a strong moves up 
as we've experienced from um, 5,500 to 20,000. That is a quadrupling of the price. After such a strong move, often there is a consolidation period that extends for quite a long time. So um, with the new cycle, the rally might, might not be very strong. However, on the other hand, it is quite as likely that the rally will create a new all-time high. So we'll have to see uh, about the all-time high being uh, broken or not. At the moment, let's have a look at a longer-term chart. This is a log scale of Bitcoin chart since early last year. And uh, one interesting thing I want to point out here is um, this trend line that connects several of the prior peaks in Bitcoin price. That is the trend line that we saw the correction go down into close to 11,000 uh, a couple of weeks ago in the middle of December 2017. And um, this trend line is close to a 100-day moving average. Let's change this to 100. Actually, it's not that close to a 100-day moving average. However, as the correction of Bitcoin continues, as the weakness continues, and the 100-day moving average uh, continues its upward move since the price itself is actually higher than the average they might meet the price itself and the 100 day moving average might meet somewhere close to this long-term trend line hence there are more factors that indicate to a strong support around this zone uh, that is close to 12,000 or so this trend line has been a resistance for quite a while as, as we see it connects several peaks however I think it has become a support line and uh, it might hold over the next week or two as we go into the cycle low and uh, get ready to bounce from either this trend line or the 100 day moving average so I would be accumulating some coins around this price zone and um, whenever price reaches this trend line in the future that is going to be close to 20,000 the big question is going to be whether Bitcoin is going to break through this trend line and at the same time the all-time high or is going to correct back down and probably be stuck in this range for a while. In either case, I wish you luck in your trades and ask you to remember a couple of things. Firstly, keep your portfolio diversified to minimize the amount of risk you are taking. Secondly, remember to follow me on YouTube as well as on Steemit. Thanks for your attention.